Vincent. That voice. It can't be. <laughs> Lucrezia. Vincent. Lucrezia, stay back! If she is happy, then I don't mind. I'm against it. Why experiments on humans? She and I are both scientists. child's name is Sephiroth. is the punishment that's been given to me. I was unable to stop Professor Gaston Hojo and Lucrezia. I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do was watch. That is my punishment. <clears throat> Lucrezia, you're alive. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. But the Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth, my dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him. Even once. Not even once. You can't call me his mother. That is my sin. It's back! Stay back! Vincent, won't you please tell me? What? If Sephiroth is still alive? I heard that he died five years ago, but I see him in my dreams so often. And I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Please, Vincent, tell me. Lucrezia. Sephiroth is dead. Alright, now I gotta head all the way back to shore. First. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Ugh, one sec. Alright, we're back. Alright, let's go. Hey, where am I? Okay. I gotta go back there again later on to get Vincent's strongest weapon and uh, final limit break. Hopefully 
emerald doesn't run into me. <laughs> I get so paranoid about that. Like, yeah, sometimes you just you just see him looking around in random places. Yeah, there he comes. <laughs> He's chasing me. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, somewhere around here is Junon, so, yeah. Alright. Alright, now let's go to Nibelheim and check something out. <clears throat> this is where you get a last limit break. Mm. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I always forget that one after the... Okay. One note. Alright, I think it's the circle button I gotta press after. Okay. There we go. I wonder what this is. Tifa's secret savings. One gill came out of the keyboard. I've heard this melody somewhere before. Managed to play well. I have the sheet music for that song. Huh? Wait a minute. There's something inside the music sheet. Tifa, what's happened to our town? Was it all illusion or just a dream? No, it was neither. I remember trying to get people out of the flames, but not having the strength. Burning with anger, I went to the reactor to kill Sephiroth. But he was nowhere to be found. <clears throat> Instead, I found you, collapsed inside. I felt saving you was far more important than going after Sephiroth. There were several others that were still alive inside, but I was only able to save you. As I was coming out of the reactor, Shinra troops were just arriving. I recall a scientist named Hojo was in charge. He ordered the troops to gather up everyone still alive for the experiment. I didn't know what type of experiment he was talking about, but I wasn't able to let them have my dearest student. Putting you on my back, I headed down the mountain to the village. I used the cure spell on you many times, and started to head for Midgar to look for a doctor for you. I don't like that city, but my cure spells weren't helping. I decided to go to Midgar to find a doctor I could trust. I'm worried about you, but I can't settle down in one place for very long. Have you recovered fully? Are you, are you well? I wonder how many years have passed since then. I just got into town again, but I can't believe it. The whole town is back to normal, except for the strange beings with black clothes all around. The town reeks of Shinra, but I won't go after them. You may think I'm running from them, but it's just that I don't want anything to do with Shinra anymore. It feels like time is running out. I'm sure you'll find this letter and this gift for you. It should come in handy. I can't believe... Yeah, I can't even jump anymore. But I hope you continue to sharpen your skills and remember what I taught you to my most precious student from Zangun. There's something else I gotta... Well, there's that one thing I was trying to show you earlier. Damn it, I finally found it. Yeah.
Hey, this is your food. Oh, here. Put on this. Smells a little. It smells a little, though. Don't complain. You look pretty good with that. <laughs> Why did he slap him? Well. Yo, old guy. We at Midgar yet? Shit, you look like I even gave you a ride. <laughs> what are you going to do once we get to Midgar? I know what I'm going to do. I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait. My lives there, too. Guess that's out. Yep, gotta change my plans. Uh, no matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, wanna start a business? But what could we do? Hey, Cloud, think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy, what do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't ya? Young folks should try everything. <laughs> you gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. Hey! Of course. I got a lot of brains and skill that other guys don't. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you even hear a word I said? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Cloud, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh... Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are going to be. Understand, Cloud? <laughs>